Hello everybody, welcome to game number 4 of Ultra Beasts. Only 40 TV down. In fact, no, I'm TV up because I've got a journeyman. Oh no, he's got two journeymen, so I'm TV down. Of course, of course I'm TV down. Um, so I don't know how much this is now. I'm going to be something like 50 TV down or something. Or more, I don't really know. 100 TV down. Going to just have to wait for him. He's gone wrestle and a nickel. And wrestle, wrestle. Oh no. It's another it's another Wood Elf team without war dancers. What is this new meta of of Wood Elves without war dancers? Is it the same guy? Werewolves, it's the same guy who beat me the other day, beat my Wood Elves. Beat beat my werewolves. It's the same guy. So Oh my god. That is a crazy idea to 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 go outside. Yeah, that's maybe a good idea. Um revenge, hopefully. Hasn't developed his lineman enough yet, no. Um the wizard isn't fucking exciting, is it really? The bribe could be useful in this match, I guess. Could go with a bribe. Wizard just seems like it's not going to be... It's not going to win me the game, but it might stop me losing the game. But bribe could make me get loads of fouls in. Just can't see before the embarrassment. Hmm... I could play like Ducky if I have the bribe. But he has got dodge. But he hasn't got blodge. If he had a war dancer, the wizard would be a lot better. He hasn't even got blodge. So... Hopefully I won't need the wizard. Oh, induced tackle, absolutely mild. That would be my favourite thing. My favourite thing would be induce, like, sure hands. Um, the thing is, Wood Elves, though, like, are just not... Are just not... Um, yeah, Merc with tackle. Wood Elves just don't really care about the Wizards so much, do they? That's the thing. Um, yeah, I would have, like, gloves of tackling, where you pay 50k to give a player tackle. Um, and then stuff like that. Boots of fouling, where you pay 50k to give an existing player a dirty player. And just things like that, I think would be really good. Really, really good. That, um, journeyman was a bit costly, wasn't he, in the first game? In the first game, in the last game. Maybe I could have bought a player to replace him. I guess I've got to split up for the tree so that he doesn't base everybody. Which leaves me weak through the middle. But then if he scores early it's alright, isn't it? Well, there you go, Eric Beheimer. I'm so clever, aren't I? Yeah, Jimmy took mighty blow. Um, yeah, exactly, random draw. So, and then you could have, like, um, you could have, I don't know, the big ones would be tackled show hands. And dirty player, wouldn't they? They'd be three big ones that you'd want to even scores. Because you might get fucked without sure hands. And you might get fucked without um, tackle. 
And you might get fucked out, dirty player. So I guess those are the three ones. Maybe a mighty blow. Maybe a mighty blow. Um, because it would be nice to have a mighty blow blitz on a rookie team, I guess. He beat me. He beat me, Jellio. Um, <laughs> because the war dancers would steal it. Yeah, he didn't want war dancers because they would have um, shoulder pads of guard. Yeah, I guess guard would be a nice one for 50k. Yeah. Pauldron! Guard pauldrons! <laughs> That'd be brilliant. He beat Shawnee as well. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's this guy's a savant. Um Yeah, it's at the end of the turn though, I believe, Eric behind me. Um Right, I'm gonna put the light on behind me because it looks a bit dodgy at the moment. In Arian's alt account. <laughs> He's rooted turn one. Excellent. Excellent. And as predicted, he put his tree in the middle. That's why the loner was there to take the savage beatings of the tree. Um, right. Oh, yeah, that's better. <laughs> the normal ones are getting put Shawnee pretty salty. Yeah, it made me pretty salty. Obviously. Obviously, because you shouldn't lose to Wood Elves without War Dancers, should you? It's like, it's the point of taking the team. Yeah, he slaughtered my Necro. <laughs> yeah, he murdered. He murdered my necro. He, it's just something. Some things happened, and he just didn't fail anything. And I fail lots of things. When people don't fail anything, and you fail things, it's tough, isn't it? That's pretty much how Blood Bowl works. Pretty shit game to have claw, isn't it? But never mind. And he, he did a, he did a really nice chain push to get to get a hit on the ball against me. And yet he did other moves that were like not good in my opinion. Oh yeah, kick DP and minus one MA, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow, he didn't get knocked down. See, but he doesn't push him away, like... That's just bad, isn't it, to not push him away? I think. I think that's just bad. Um, because now... He's getting to punch somebody. Safe moves first. Wouldn't Fash be proud? And 3D on the catcher. Hit his canoring threat. Just because I get three dice, really. Less chance of a less chance of a turnover rather than thinking I would succeed at anything. I guess I should have put the Chaos Warrior there instead of him there. Now I've just left a Chaos Warrior out of contact, which is shit, isn't it? Warrior should be in contact, not Beastmen, but never mind. I don't know if he played Shawnee as well. I don't know. But he, he wrecked me.
<laughs> yeah, kick's another good thing. Kick's another good thing for 50 you could pay for. I just hate paying 50k for a random fucking thing, you know? that That's the thing, isn't it? You don't want to pay 50k for a random effect. But if you could pay 50k, you just, just guaranteed get kick and that, that was really bad me doing that. Oh, at least it just got wrestled. Both down was the right move. Oh yeah, 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 could have bought down with Mighty Blow against Armour 7. But the thing is, I'm just a massive pussy. I, I can't I can't do the both down on all balls because I just don't want to kill myself. Exactly Ori Lenses, exactly VIP Ori Lenses. That's why I just don't like Wrestle at low TV. It's okay eventually, obviously. At high TV it's good because at high TV, when, we, when, when I had some block as well, when I've got, you know, six or seven block, then having wrestle is really good, isn't it? But at low TV, it's, I think it's pretty bad having taken wrestle first. And especially with not having war dancers. Like, if he had war dancers, his war dancers make the attrition blocks. Exactly, Charlie. Oh, yeah, you know. Both down with advantage on me, you know what happens there, yeah. Absolutely. Wow, he's just a handoff. What's this madman doing? One dice. See, this is what he does. He does one dice blocks. And, he, and then he fucking dodges through and does a pass and scores or some bollocks. And it's like. I don't know. I found it, I found it difficult, difficult to handle, to be honest. If, if people do these moves with war dancers, you're like. Fair enough, they've got war dancers. He's just doing the pass. Yeah, maybe I should have taken them both down. Quite right. Didn't get the pal, still going for the move. Outrageous. Not punished. Two, two, he is, he is in Aryan's alt account. <laughs> oh, will he be punished? I mean, we're using the reroll is punishment enough, I guess. And now he just gets ground down for the loss, doesn't he? Hopefully, hopefully, seeing as he can't, there's no leaping, there's no leaping threat on the cage. Hopefully, he just gets beaten down. Hopefully, he just gets beaten down. It wasn't even a hard play. But still, I would have much rather he was doing it with a war dancer. Then I would have felt much less bad about it if he had inbuilt rerolls. Yeah, he's punished by scoring two turn and and, turn, and using a reroll to do it. So yeah, he's, it's already punishment enough. As long as I just don't play stupid. Um, because he doesn't have war dancers. <laughs> so that's good. No, so it unroots his tree. So it's it's fair enough to unroot his tree. To be fair, I was I was worried about the touchdown. Maybe I should have taken the both down just for less chance of him being able to score that turn, because that that was really his only chance to score. Um, yeah. So yeah, there was a three plus from that. Yeah, three plus from the one die. And he could have done the one die, and then when it wasn't a power, changed his mind. That, I think that would have been a better play, but. It just seems that just seems pr fucking janky and, and a crap move to me that they s score there. Yeah, but it, then it, it does unroot his tree. Yeah. Yeah, of course, if it's 2D, then it's much more likely to get the pow and then make his score a lot easier. Yeah, so maybe I should have taken the ball down on the three dice. Maybe I should have done. But I've been I've just been bitten in the ass too many times by uh by taking board downs with like armor nine. I, I usually want to do it against skinks because they're armor seven and stunty. And like I've been bitten in the ass so many times. 
Yep, he scored turn two by choice. So. You would hope. You would hope that's a good sign. I'd really like to claw his tree man just because I've got claw. Well, I guess I'm not going to. Something like this. Riot. So he scored he scored on turn one. Wow, so I've just got a receiving drive. The only thing is I'm one nil down to start. Let's put him back here first. And then him over there. Safe moves first. Fash would be proud. No effect from Mighty Blow. Um, guess put him back so the tree only gets to base one. Should have done him with a mighty blow guy, really. Mighty blow would have broken as well. Fuck. He did it. Made the pick up. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. Made the pick up. Yeah, now he's jealous now. Turn one, let's go. Against Claw Mighty Blow with block, I would have taken it. But he's got he's got he's got stand firm, hasn't he? So if I get the push, which I get a fair amount of the time, I'm just I'm just stuck three or four players on the tree. And um and it's just bad news. If I had block and piling on, then obviously I hit the tree. But even just block, I hit the tree because he's seventy five percent. When it's only fifty five percent, it's a lot it's a lot dodgier. But then there was, of course, the guy, the wood elf against me who one dice to stand for mummy. <laughs> so, you know. Not choosing not to get the additional block from the loner. See, now if he moves his tree to base somebody, he's just giving the hit for free, isn't he? Managing risk like a pro. Yeah, there you go. That was that was my rationale, yeah. See now he's basing a loner, which is just fine. You, he can eat that loner for a few turns. Like obviously if he if he kills him it's not so good. But um And he's he's stopping he's stopping the um assists somewhat. I could blitz him with a claw mate blow. But I don't wanna. I wanna blitz his loner. Move down the side there. I'm okay with that. 
so let's get him around there and him to there and him to there and then somewhere like this safe moves first fash loving this game no doubt I guess I could run away from the tree What's he got? You can blitz him and then GFI to base the two on the cage. Or three on the cage. I could dodge away and then go here. Is it worth giving up the mighty blow hit? I think it probably is worth taking the mighty blow hit on the loner. Yeah, I think I think he's here or here, one of these. Yeah, this one. So I could have hit the Nicola, but I wanted to um I wanted to push him on the sideline and um and create an extended cage. Yeah, plus he may skulls it, yeah. Yeah, and you know, I could just fail the dodge and die, couldn't I? Which, I mean, that's the thing, I could just fail that dodge, die, and then he could blitz, kill another guy, and then base, base three guys on the thing. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of his, of his reasoning there to not take war dances, but he did beat me 3-0. He did hammer me. He did hammer my, my necromantic team 3-0. So he's got that going for him. Yeah, see, reinforcing that corner would have been good, wouldn't it? Maybe I shouldn't have put this guy here. He's not doing a whole lot, is he? He could have been on that side as well. But, I mean, I was making sure. I was making safe moves first. Obviously, once this guy blitzes and gets the knockdown, then this guy isn't necessary at all, is he? But I was so that's the disadvantage of safe moves first, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a stun. That's all right. Yeah, and then now hopefully next turn I can just run run the fuck away from the tree now. Fingers crossed. He sure does like basing. I remember, I remember this. He likes to dodge and he likes to base. Um, I'd really like to. I would really not like to hit the niggled guy, but I, I guess I, what I really want to do. I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I want to really, really, really want to zig a zig ah. I want to get him in here, don't I? And he wants to blitz him out, and then get a get a cage in here. Not ideal, is it, having these guys there, but hopefully that's enough. Oh, 
Maybe he's a bit too far forward on turn three. But I, I want to get far. I want to get as far forward as I can just to get away from the fucking tree. Three dice with G board down, attack it down, attack it down. Done that quite a bit. Five and off the pitch. On turn one. On turn zero. Oh, what a fireball or something. Oh, three kills and I found the person who blitzed. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Oh, nice. Nice, he rolled a one. He rolled a one. You can have, you can have a fireball. They can fireball, ni they can fireball nine, can't they? They can fireball nine and block two. So you could potentially start turn one. <laughs> they could block three, fireball eight. And, um... <laughs> or you could have everyone on the line of S. You could have nine here and one here, one here. And then they could block these two and, and fireball all nine. So you could absolutely start... You could start a turn with zero people on the pitch. That's absolutely possible. Which is funny, isn't it? Right, so safe moves first. I'm going down in legend here as the guy who made safe moves first. I'd have to cheer if I had to push him into an extra block. So I guess it's not it's stupid. I mean, I guess I take the boat down here because he might wrestle. No, I'm not going to take it. Absolute pussy confirmed. Um, do I want to uh, face the tree? I don't know because if he moves two, he bases him, and then he's got four turns one two three four no I guess he's he's out of relevancy already isn't he that's hard for him to dodge out now isn't it I guess just get him up on the business end of things. And then he can make this crazy move to fucking run away from the tree. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Still only one kill so far. Take root, done. See you later, shithead tree. He's got his canoring threat, though. So... If any bullshit happens, I'm fucked. The killing is going very slow, Steel Rat. This is not this is not a this is not a loop pack stream. Unfortunately, when I use Chaos, I have blitz every turn with Mighty Blow and um and then get nothing. <laughs> wow, that's a major announcement, Orelance. He's close to all bashing me now. I think he's made two two stuns. Ah, oh, I wanted to get I wanted to get a guy in contact with him as well because obviously just giving away this block is shit, isn't it? I fucking hate giving away blocks. But no, oh. he's rolled a lot of ones. To be fair, and he's he's maintained good discipline by not re-rolling them. I think I would have re-rolled some of them for sure. Mm-hmm. Right, you can block him into another one, can't you? Oh, he doesn't need to. Yes! Injury. 
beautiful. Beautiful. Niggled guy. Was his niggle? Did his niggle factor? Injury was a nine. Armour was an eight. Injury was a nine. So his niggle didn't matter. Um... I'd love to three dice the catcher, wouldn't I, really? No, Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow didn't do anything. Yeah, okay, Mighty Blow didn't do anything. Depends which way you want to look at it. Either my e blow didn't do anything, or the niggle did nothing. One of the two. Um. Right. Finally, some murder. This season ends in the, on the fifteenth. In there. When I say the actual announcement at the bottom of this endless spiral of announcements, yeah. There's a lot of announcements of announcements, isn't there? Yeah, I really wanted a Chaos Warrior there. Maybe I should have swapped them when I had the chance. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't reroll any of the ones so far. He's only got one niggle. Oh no, Greg, it'll still be 4-2 with this guy. Yeah, that's true. That's if things work well. He could one turn. He could one turn, couldn't he? I should, I should go after the catcher so that he can't one turn. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad if he blocks away from, from the Mighty Blow guy, because at least the Mighty Blow guy can then blitz somebody who hasn't got dodge. I guess unless he doesn't follow up, but surely he'll follow up to get away from the mighty blow. Oh, safe moves first. Unbelievable. No, he's not super trash. No, he's absolutely not super trash. But he does do some strange things. That that that's that's he does some stri he does some odd things rather than he, I wouldn't call him trash. Well, I, w I wouldn't like to call anyone trash either. It's a bit unkind, isn't it, to call somebody trash? But um Mighty Blow not doing anything. Probably Mighty blow. Not doing anything, probably. Uh, I guess I could leave these guys on the ground. Uh, this this one dodging here would be nice, though. I've got the reroll for it. So. Alright, good. No, oh, he can run everyone through here. Oh, shit. You can actually just funnel everyone around now. I wonder if he'll do that. Go for a big gang foul, it looks like. Oh, I've got a bribe! <laughs> oh, there's that coaching from Adonta Kellis. That coaching. <laughs> nice breakdown of all the announcements there. Yeah, the loner. Obviously, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna up all that. But I'm totally gonna foul this. Uh, I don't know. I would save my foul for the fucking war dancers, but there isn't any. I hate when people get lucky like that. I mean, what a shit foul to do, even with a million assists. And now he just greed rerolls, you know, instead of rerolling on a on a one. Okay, he does get the knockdown.
Oh, he doesn't get the one turn, does he? Because he, he received. <laughs> Duh. Safe moves first. Just call me Fashbinder. Well, it was agreed in 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 terms of he was fit, he was rolling ones, and not re-rolling them, and then he just used it to try and get damage, you know, kind of irrelevantly. I can't foul him though, because I just don't have anyone to fucking do with, like this guy. Four plus three plus to go there and foul or something. I should have I should have fouled earlier. There, there was there was um there was a time that I should have fouled earlier. Yeah, but yeah, second half. Yeah, usually my foul ends four ones in a row. Yeah. Yeah, I know I did Scooby, but that's what that's what I'm saying, right? All, it was agreed. It was the definition of agreed reroll. He was rerolling to get knocked down, but the point is saving his re. He saved his rerolls all match long. Just to make a fucking, just to try and get an irrelevant knockdown for damage, which is just, just bad, isn't it? Whereas he was rolling ones on dodges and not re-rolling, and that's what I'm saying. Another fucking foul. Oh my god. Surely he can't be that lucky again. Surely not. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Oh god, I get the foul second half, that's so sweet. <laughs> He's realised that he can maybe foul the, the Mighty Blow Claw guy. He doesn't need a greed reroll. Who's he gonna foul? No, he's gonna foul the beast man's stone. Come on, sent off for a stone. No KO. No fucking KO. <laughs> oh man. Sent off though, good. Good. Cast himself. That there's why you don't foul why you don't foul, isn't it? And I can make this a 3D. Jeff Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, airplane, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a funny one, isn't it? Don't the colours. I don't know, he won four, drawn one, lost two or something. He beat me 3 0. He beat my Necro team 3 0. <laughs> Just in insanity. Come on, come back. Oh, Pato Banton. Good. I still think I'm players up now, aren't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight and I've got nine. But that still favours the Woodies, doesn't it? Eight versus nine. Still got his kick. I think I'll still set up like this. Four one two, something like that. Yeah, that's. What, oh, his record, his record um, is something like four one two. My record is three and all. Um, 
I just thought it about him because he's, he's the one with the crazy fucking team. Um, right, yeah, no, no niggles to target. And it's obviously better to hit the wrestlers than not, isn't it? I think. Nine versus eight, yeah. Only, only barely outbashed him. Didn't do safe moves first. Sorry, Fash. Sorry, Fash, for not doing the safe moves first. Anyway, that's a little bit safe, isn't it? Like, who do I foul? Like, that's the thing, it's hard to foul, isn't it? It's it's really hard to foul a lot of the time without giving up pos position. <laughs> Nine versus it would be scary if you had two wardens on the pitch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Get a Kaz for that level. It was kind of an irrelevant blitz, wasn't it? But I didn't want to... Um... Oh shit, I put myself and get knocked into the tree. That wasn't so smart. But I guess if it was there, I, wouldn't. I could have gone back one. Um, I just thought it was more important to reinforce this side from coming through. I guess it can still just blitz with the tree. Gotta use the reroll on the pickle button. Against this lad. It's one of the ways he can win. So actually he's not gonna run around the side, he's gonna run straight through the middle, isn't he? So actually this foul is good. Generates a, a um elf screen. <laughs> so he's never gonna level up enough lime and buy a war, don't he? Yeah. I could just commit the tree to blitz the warrior, couldn't he? Now he does get the base two players with the tree. Um but See he does blitz with the tree. It's just now that I've got the ma the warrior there, it's not a massive gaping hole. Getting all bashed by Woody's. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I don't even have enough players to two dice's tree now. <laughs> Eight versus seven. Thank fuck he doesn't have war dancers. That would that would have been a knocked out warrior if I hadn't moved that um that guy. I just can't mate. I can't kill the tree. <laughs> I can't kill the tree. <laughs> so he has replaced with another line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Imagine not taking war dancers. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it plays off. He just leveled up, yeah. That foul, that foul, not worth it. <laughs> not worth that foul to get my guy um, fucking cast. I could make this a three die, sir, and then foul him. But I don't really want to. Um... I don't really want to commit the players when I've got so few. Alright, stun. Stun hopefully does things. Oh, 
Obviously, I don't want to foul a stun guy, and I really don't want to foul a loner with a Chaos Warrior, even with a bribe. I guess basing him isn't too bad. And I guess I've just got to get pounded on by the tree. Um. A lot of VIP bleeding hippie. The record is 3 0 0 at the moment. And um, maybe I should have dodged away from the tree there. But again, I just like like last time. I just want another turn to get really far away from the tree. Block Zansab. Block. Hundred percent. He's probably going to foul the shit out of that warrior. You're quite correct. He does like fouling. I remember that from the game against the Necros. He liked foul. He likes one dice block blitzers. And fouls is, is the things that he likes the most in Blood Bowl. Got him. Yeah, I'd, I'd go block first. We can go block, guard, mighty blow, any combination, to be honest. It's not bad. It's never bad. Oh, shit, I want to get away from the tree, don't I? But I want to foul this fuckhead. Away from tree or foul. I guess I can take one hit on the mighty blow guy. So... Got the anti war dancer cage without needing a war dancer, but it's actually the foul cage. So that if it's a fail and a send off, it doesn't give up a hit on the ball carrier. Fucking, <laughs> I've made two fouls and not even broken arm. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, I guess I could dodge because then if he works, he's got to blitz and GFI twice. Um. And also, if I go here, I can sandwich. Not effectively, though. Oh, he's running out of players now, isn't he? Three, four, five, six. But still six. <laughs> I've still only got eight. I've really only got the cage. Happy that I made this cage to get the foul in, though. Yeah, exactly. This is why I don't foul. It doesn't. It doesn't work out for me. <laughs> I'll be pissed off if he makes this blitz and two GFIs. Ah, ha, ha, take root. Oh yeah. Should have done that first, shouldn't he? And then if he he could have made the he could have blocked me in the tree more easily. But now he's moved that guy away, it's not so easy to block him into the tree. Look at this madman. <laughs> he makes the 5 plus dodge, but he's not even a blitz. When's he gonna blitz? He's just a madman, isn't he? This. This. This is why. This is how. He, <laughs> this is what he did when he beat me. I just don't. I don't understand it. Make a casual 5 plus in for no reason. Man, I got lucky there. <laughs> got fucking lucky. Well, 
fucking hell. Oh man, <laughs> what, a, what a shit show this is. Foul him, blitz him, but then I've got nobody there. Should have done the safe moves first there, shouldn't I? He could block him into a block. Um, and then he could blitz him. Because this isn't safe, is it, with this guy here? I reckon I want to go one up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I've used my reroll. This is this this. This is why I don't take both downs against catchers. Now he's got a, now he's got a one dice. He's got a two dice on the ball now, with some rolls, with three players on the pitch, and he's got two dice on the ball if he wants it. Fucking outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely standard. Couldn't even re-roll it. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. But then if I didn't do it, you can one dice me and still get a one dice. Oh, I double wand. Oh, wow. Okay, double one in the stun. All right. I can't, I can't complain about that. All right, it's safe now. Well, as safe as it's going to be. No one to blitz. <laughs> GG. I still don't agree with his... <laughs> with his no war dancer policy. Holy shit. Right, let's get this foul in. To be fair, he's rolled a lot of ones. He's rolled a lot of ones, to be fair. I mean, he's been... He's got nobody, nobody left on the pitch. So, you know, he's... he's. I've definitely had the better of the dice. No, no two ways about it. Oh, he could have blitzed the tree. I could have blitzed the tree with Claw. You correct? Yeah. Now, yeah, you guess he's rolled a lot of dice, though. Yeah, I guess overall he's rolled a lot of dice. So I could go for the handoff um, if he wasn't knocked out. <laughs> uh, okay, scratch that. Um. Hmm. I, I guess he's gonna—he's not got a lot of players for the one turn, but I guess I should still foul the. Um... Do I need this many players to defend the ball? Probably not. Should get another assist up for the foul. Probably. Oh, 
Obviously, I can't re-roll this, unfortunately. Alright, good. Maybe I should have put the um, Mighty Blow here and the other guy there, so it was, I was risking the GFI with an unskilled guy. Could go for throw, no way, Kogol. Not when it's 1-1. And only one re-roll. No fucking way. I'm I'm not bleeding hippie. There's no way I'm gonna go for something like that. Yeah, he did. He did give me his entire drive to grind him down. Yeah. <laughs> when Jimmy were in game phase. <laughs> I'm as serious as Tom Brady when he's um when he's down by twenty five points. That's how serious I am. Oh he's gonna get him his catcher removed from me. No he's not. Shit. Oh, go on then. No. Right. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Voluntary armor roll there. Now he's going to get fouled with plus three as well. He'll, he'll foul the more valuable player rather than the one more likely to concede because that's the point of fouling, isn't it? It's to just cause salt. But I mean, if he gets his catcher sent off here, then there's less chance of him scoring the one turn, which is good. Absolutely greatest of all time. No doubt. There could be no doubt anymore. Right, just score here. Don't go fucking crazy. <laughs> one ball bumper. <laughs> Guzzlordy shit. I haven't even caught Guzzlord yet, actually. I stopped catching them. I haven't got. I haven't got Guzz Lord on Necrozma. After catching at some point, got to catch them all. That's what they say. But yeah, I think you should have re-rolled some of the ones that you rolled, um, especially as you just ended the half with with stuff that didn't matter. You ended up using them on things that didn't matter. God, this is full. What does this look like? Three, four, five, six, seven. He's got seven, so he's got enough, I believe. He hasn't got grab. This is enough. I don't want to give him too much time himself. So risky. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, look, one in one in eight. I've lost plenty of games because I've or drawn plenty of games because I've rolled a one in thirty six or a one in eighty one. Um, what is streamer gate? Um, streamer gate is um, is the fact that people in some people in UK BBL aren't that happy about people streaming and getting advices. Do you know what? I'm going to change the name of my um, my stream here. It's going to be it's going to be a great title. God, quick snap, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> 
Jim hasn't filed all his ethics paperwork. Oh dear. Oh God, as if he got a fucking quicks now. What a load of shit this is. I fucking hate quicks now. God damn it. Nobody knows it was a PM. I maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it. To be honest, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it. It was a PM that me, Sage, and Lupak got, where we all where we all agreed that it's not an advantage to be streaming. But I just I shouldn't have mentioned it. It just again proving that it's a distraction to have chat. It just popped into my head while I was playing because of because of streaming. So it's definitely. It's definitely not an advantage. I think he hasn't done it right, so there is that. I think this is not 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 good blood ball. It's got a me. Oh, I guess he can. Yeah, he's, he's still he's still got. It. He's only got to get one push now, hasn't he? Fucking hell! As as wrong as he did it. He's just got to get one fucking push. Yeah, I thought that as well, Bleeding Hippie, because it, it, it was, he said, uh, people watching the semi-finals, plural, um, mentioned it. So I thought you would have been in the chain as well, but you weren't, unfortunately. You were left out. So I actually would have done better along the back line, as it happened. But then not if he hadn't got the quick snap. It doesn't matter if he powers. In fact, it's better for him to power. Yeah, I should have gone over the back line, maybe. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm not even going to beat him. Oh, yeah, get a guy killed in the last turn. Last turn, death. <laughs> death and touchdown. Should have done the pass earlier. It was a two plus. Misplay, not punished. I should have just gone on the back line. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh. Thank God. Thank God. <sighs> Thank fucking God. No, no, at first it was a first, it was a three plus. <sighs> Holy shit. Lucky as fuck in the end. Lucky as fuck to get that to get that win. It was just L's for you, innit? Imagine if he had um Imagine if he Oh, he was MVP as well, the 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 journeyman. <laughs> the journeyman who died as MVP. And a Randor death on the last turn. Equal, equal armor breaks. <laughs> so you know, there is that. More, 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 uh, more blocks than him, and uh, and yet, yet I took two deaths, <laughs> three cast to two. It's just crazy. This is this is me with chaos. It's just getting out, getting out bashed by woodies. That should be the uh, name of the title. Just, the name of the title should be Getting Out Bashed by Woodies. Fucking hell. Nearly drew against them as well, thanks to the quick snap. I don't think he would have got it without the quick snap. Mm, oh, I do like movement. I do like movement for the ball carrier. I do like... I do like the movement for the ball carrier. Out oh, bashed by Woodies. Well, I mean, yeah, not even a block. He didn't have a block on the team, did he? He did not even have a block player because of his, because of his obsession with um, not taking the best player in the game. Wow. Yeah, out oh, bashed by Woodward well, with zero block. Mind blowing. Mind blowing stats. Um, 
I guess my beastmen could be reliable. My beastmen could have block. And then... And then... Wait for, um... Wait for doubles and shit. Uh, I really don't know. 4-0, though, that's good, isn't it? Man, I do like movement. But movement without anything else is just a bit shit, isn't it? Like, once you get to block and dodge and show hands, then the movement's really good. Um, well, that's a long way away. I mean, if it was Zadja, I'd take it. If it was Zadja strength, I'd take it instantly. But the movement kind of needs the other skills to be as good. Yeah, no, more Dance of Woodies are still better than 1K TV ILs. It's true. They're unbelievable. They're unbelievable. Wood Elves are just unbelievable. Tree Man is, can cas people and catches are amazing. Oh, I love I love MA. But yeah, first is first is tough. It's tougher to take first. Yes, good point, Adonta Kellis. Good point. That's a very good point. Down TV a lot of the time means you want those meat and potato skills. Which you see, that's the thing. They can't make two dice as easily, can they? That's why I don't like the like the um, mighty blow and claw on beastmen because you want your mighty blow and claw to be in amongst the enemy, um, getting extra blocks. Whereas getting a block with the mighty blow guy is hard, isn't it? Well, he's gonna take. He's gonna take block. Is he? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Could just go block on all the beastmen. I was thinking block on all the beastmen. And then they're the reliable guys. And um and then if one of them gets a stat or a double, they become the um They become It's a potato skill, they're not really a meat one yet, very true. Right, I'll think about it and then um I guess I'll need another player. So who do I who do I get? Um I can't remember who the... I'll get Necrozma because he's the best one, even though... Fartigos! <laughs> that's a great... That's a great name, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty indecisive. No, I can't go Frenzy first, Imperator Augustus. As amazing as Frenzy is, um, I'd go Block first still. So I think Block first, and then if I get Agility, he's blocking Agility. If I get Strength, he's blocking Strength. If I get movement, he's still blocking movement, which is better. And then I've just got blockers, which is good. I guess I could take wrestle on one. I guess I could take wrestle on one, um, just against you know because it saves. I might be down TV and not have tackle, so having a wrestler almost is the same. Um, another mighty blow wouldn't hurt, would it? But. Um, Right, I don't know, I'll think about it. So thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.